Welcome, my name is Raymond Hardy and uh, what I have here is a, a depiction of the complete total response and in, and in this case it's an RC low pass filter so um, but this applies to both the uh, LR um, low pass filter also so what I have here is a uh, complete total response and under that you'll see that I have the zero input response on the left and I have the zero state response on the right so what I what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to explain what is the difference between the two so if you look at the left uh, the zero input response you will see that I have a capacitor and this capacitor has a voltage charge on it uh, called VC and if you look uh, to the left of this uh, resistor you'll see that it goes to uh, ground here you'll see that it goes to ground so the only thing driving the zero input response is the voltage uh, the initial condition of the uh, uh, capacitor I'm sorry, it's the capacitor that's holding this particular voltage this voltage that I'm calling VC so that is the only stimulus or impetus driving the zero input response. Now if you look at the far right side here, <coughs> excuse me, I have the zero state response. And for the zero state response, you'll see that I have this voltage being connected to the uh, circuit here. And if you look right here for this capacitor you will see down here that I've indicated that the initial condition for that capacitor is zero so the capacitor is not holding any charge and it's that's different from the uh, zero input response where the capacitor is holding a charge so in one instance the capacitor is holding a charge and on the right side the capacitor is not holding a charge uh, uh, also if you notice that on the left side there's no voltage uh, being connected to the circuit whereas for the zero state response there is a voltage uh, this E voltage being connected to the circuit so that's the differences between the two uh, circuits one on the left the zero input, the only, once again, the only stimulus or impetus that's driving the circuit is the voltage that's being held by the capacitor. Therefore, you have to have this initial condition, and in this, con and in this case, the initial condition is VC. And remember, it's not connected to a, uh, to a, to a voltage source. Whereas for the zero state response, it's just opposite the zero input response where it is connected to a circuit or to, an e, to, a, to a voltage. But the capacitor, once again, has zero uh, voltage being held within, within the capacitor. So this E voltage is what drives the circuit. It's the stimulus for the zero state response. So uh, hopefully uh, I've, I've been able to explain the differences between what's the zero input response as compared to the zero state response. And uh, down below I left both um, uh, equations that were derived in previous videos that I did showing uh, both of these uh, two uh, equations. Now uh, in my next video I want to uh, take it a little further and explain that if you take these two equations you can manipulate them such that <clears throat> you can end up with uh, one being the solid state response and the other being the transient response. And uh, you can derive those two responses from both of these two equations uh, just by doing some uh, doing some manipulation.
Thank you very much.